lasting treatment for unsightly spider veins. Dr. Nisha Bunky Paquet is here from La Jolla Vein Care Center to talk about this, this problem. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. This is a pretty common uh, problem. We talk about spider veins and varicose veins. How many people are affected by this? Yeah, absolutely. So venous disease is a common condition. It affects one in four people. And varicose veins and spider veins are the most common type of vein disorder. Okay, we're going to talk this morning about spiders specifically, correct? Yes. And is this indicative sometimes of an underlying condition possibly? It is. It, it is. is. It is. It's often associated with the underlying condition. In the past, people considered it a cosmetic issue, but that's not the case. The majority of time, people with spider veins do have associated pain, burning, throbbing, leg fatigue, and even leg heaviness. But the good news is those conditions and those symptoms can can be dealt with pretty effectively nowadays, right? Right. They're very treatable with uh, minimal discomfort. Okay, so at the La Jolla Vein Center, you, uh, you have some different remedies for this. What are we going to be showing this morning? Right. We're going to do a procedure called foam sclerotherapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, sclerotherapy has been around for a long time. It's been around for over 50 years. But what's different now, the procedures have significantly improved so that there's very minimal discomfort and they're quite effective. Okay, let's show the spot okay. here if we want to get the camera up right on our leg. You've identified, of course, are those varicose or are those spider? So this, this cluster here, this is a cluster of spider veins. But what I hope to show you with this light, this device uses infrared technology to visualize the uh, connecting veins. So this cluster of spider veins actually has an underlying what we call feeder vein. So it's about a medium sized vein, so it's not quite large enough to be a varicose vein. But as you can see, this cluster of spider veins is being fed by this larger feeder vein. And that's important to identify because you need to identify it and treat it in order to have effective and lasting results. Okay, so these veins here can be treated with what you call the foam sclerotherma? Sclerotherapy, S yes. Sclerotherapy, okay. So you're going to demonstrate that for us right now, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so okay. what do you do? You actually just inject it, in, and this is all, of course, you don't need an anesthetic for this? You don't need an anesthetic. The newer solution was actually used as a local anesthetic in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, okay, a little A little bit poke, of a prick. A little poke. And so we've already... So as you can see, this green light is clearing, so that indicates the solution is pushing the uh, blood out of the vein. And again, the green light indicates where those spider veins are. Right. And if they clear up, that means this is working. Right. Okay, now, are see, you feeling any you pain? Can can you right feel, this is one you down here. Do you okay. feel, yep. how does well, it feel? I, it just feels like yeah. a, a bee sting, or m maybe a little less than a bee sting. Okay, maybe like kind of like giving blood or something like that, yeah. nothing too yeah. serious. Less than that, probably. Okay, yeah. and you didn't, you didn't receive any type of uh, 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 local anesthetic or anything for this? No. Okay. Nothing. Well, that's good news. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can see it's very effective right away. This is an immediate effect, isn't it? It is. It is. Initially, it, it does give the impression that the veins are completely gone, but it'll take actually about three weeks for the veins to completely disappear. Do you do multiple sessions with this to, to have the, the optimal effect? We do. Yeah. Most of the time, people need more than one treatment session to get best results. Okay. So. But this looks quite remarkable. So yeah. right away, you're going to have a little bit of maybe some red. Uh, some, do you have any type of immediate uh, side effects from this? So maybe some bumping or uh, maybe even bruising from this? Yeah, that's exactly it. It kind of sometimes it feels like a, a little mosquito bite, mm -hmm. and you actually get a little red welt that's uh, similar to... Uh, uh, the welt that you get from a mosquito bite. Okay, well this is fascinating stuff. And so the, so the foam is really the trick nowadays. Sclerotherapy has been around as mentioned for like 50 years. But the foam is, how, how old is this kind of new treatment? How long has that been kind of an operation in your office? Yeah, in our office, we've, we've used foam sclerotherapy for about five years, but it's been around, been around for 20 years. More recently, it's be, be, become popular in the United States. Okay. So it's actually, because of foam sclerotherapy, you can use it on the large varicose veins as well. So it's actually replaced surgery in some cases, So that, the larger pretty, veins. That will eventually just get rid of all the pain that could be associated with the spider veins and varicose veins as well? Absolutely. If the pain is related to the varicose veins or spider veins, once these are gone, the pain is resolved as well. Now, Wendy, did you have any discomfort prior to this procedure this morning? Yes. When I, if I stood for a long period of time, there would be a lot of pressure and mm -hmm. pain in my legs, and, and especially um, if I'd been standing all day. So, is, What is the real initial cause of spider veins and varicose veins? Is it the standing for long periods of time? Is it walking? Uh, the, the constant use of your legs? Is that what kind of does it? Yes. Yeah, standing is a risk factor. So people who have standing occupations that require them to stand 
stand in one place for long periods of time, like hairdressers, flight attendants, teachers. But the most, the, the strongest risk factor is heredity. If both of your parents had varicose veins, you have a 90% chance of developing varicose veins. Female, the hormones have a strong influence. Pregnancies, mm. women who have had three or more pregnancies have a 50% chance of developing varicose veins. Age, the older we get, the more likely we are to have vein problems. And then also uh, weight gain. Okay, Dr. Nisha Bunky Paquette, where can people go to see you and get this treatment? And then how much does it cost? Yeah, so we're located at La Jolla Vein Care in the Scripps Zymed Medical Building at the uh, Scripps Memorial Hospital campus. Treatment sessions are typically run about $500 per treatment session. Okay, so. and you might need maybe two or three of those to have the optimal results. Right. She, Wendy has a very mild case, so she's probably only going to need this treatment session. Some people have very extensive disease where they could need about three treatment sessions. How do you feel, Wendy? I feel great. Good. And you can keep wearing those short shorts. That's, That's a good right. thing, isn't it? <laughs> with, with summertime approaching, too, and spring right. break and all that. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Okay, good for you. Uh, La Jolla Vein Care uh, at Scripps at the main campus in La Jolla right off of Genesee, correct? Yes, that's correct. Fantastic. A great procedure. So glad you came in to talk to us about it. Great. Thanks, Thanks for so having much for your us. Time.